Hi guys, welcome back to The Pool Guide. My name is Chris and today we're going to talk about how to remove metals from swimming pool water and spa water. So first I want to talk about fill water, okay? How are we getting metals into the pool? So fill water is one source. If you look here you'll see a picture of a pool. They used well water to fill the swimming pool which is not an issue but this particular well had a lot of iron in the in the fill water. So you'll see in this picture that the pool is loaded down with metals, okay? So it's important to know when you're dealing with metal issues how the metals are getting into the pool, okay? Fill water is a key source. If you're building a pool, remodeling a pool, or if you've just serviced your pool, uh, whether it was for an acid wash or something along those lines and they're refilling it, make sure that the fill water is tested and if you need to, get a pre-filter and fill the water through the pre-filter so it takes the metals out before the water gets into your pool, okay? This will eliminate issues with staining and other issues down the road, okay? Um, another way fill water uh, has an effect on your pool is if you're building a new pool or remodeling it or refinishing it, the fill water going into the shotcrete or gunite or into the plaster if it's got metals in it, over time those metals can leach out of the pool walls and start causing metal stain issues in your pool. Okay, um, another thing to look at is what are you using for algaecide? If you're using a copper-based algaecide, the copper in most algaecides is chelated, so that means it's held in solution so it doesn't fall out. But if you are constantly adding algaecide and not removing any metals, what's going to happen is, is that that algaecide uh, chelation is going to become overloaded. There's going to be too many metals in the water and it's going to fall out of solution and start staining the surface of your pool. Okay, so that's another area. Um, something else to look at is if you have an older pool with a copper heat exchanger in the heater, you could be getting copper out of that. If you're using water features that have metal, such as water bowls, um, waterfalls that have metal, um, also any hardware in your pool for like handrails, ladders, lights, things like those, uh, those can also cause metal to get into your pool, okay? Um, so these are all things that you need to look at. So what do we need to do to get the metals out? A lot of times, by the time we notice that there's metals in the pool, it's because there's already a stain, okay? So I'm gonna show you a picture now of some pools that have staining, and you'll see it coming out from the return jet, and it's stained around the return of the swimming pool, okay? Um, some other areas you'll see staining possibly, and this one is gonna be from the algae side. Uh, this is a commercial pool I'll show you here, where it has a scum gutter, so the water comes up and runs over and drains off and goes back to the equipment. So what happens here is the, the algae side was in the water and got into the gutter, which is dry most of the time, and it just plated the copper out and stained the gutter blue. So you'll see that here as well. So take a look at these pictures and it'll give you a little bit of an idea of what you're looking at. But in order to first treat this metal issue, you need to lift the stains, okay? Get those stains lifted, get that metal in solution. So there's a few different options for lifting stains. Some of them are chemicals that you add to the pool water. Um, and the last image I showed you where the scum gutter had the, the blue copper staining on it, in order for a chemical going into the water to lift that stain, you'd have to raise your water level above that area, okay? Um, there are other options. You can scrub it and rinse it uh, with a few different products to help lift the stain, but for the most part, you're gonna have to have water up above it. It needs to be under the water so you can clean that properly. Um, there are other products that are for spot cleaning that you can, I'll show you examples of. You can put them on an extension pole, put them down in the pool, set them over the spot, and they will lift the stain, okay? Depending on what you're using, you wanna make sure to follow the manufacturer instructions. That way you can get the best out of the product and actually lift the stain. Certain products require that you lower the chlorine level. And this is to help the product do its job better, but also the products with chlorine will fight each other. And if you don't lower the chlorine level according to the manufacturer specifications, 
what you'll end up seeing is that the stain doesn't get lifted and now your chlorine's dropped way down and you're gonna think, oh, this didn't work. So it's important that you check those instructions and make sure that the process you're using is going to fit the needs of your pool and your, your family's needs for when you're gonna be using that pool again, okay? So once you lift the stains, you wanna go ahead and sequester those metals and hold them in solution. Uh, there's multiple products, chemicals that you can add to your pool for holding metals in solution, and I will list those down below. Once you have those metals held in solution, now's the time to look at how to get those metals out of your swimming pool. Okay, and I'm going to give you three different options here. Number one, worst case scenario, if you have tons of metal in your pool, would be to drain your pool and refill it. Of course, we're going to go back to the beginning here with the pre-filter. Test the water that you're gonna be putting back into the pool prior to filling it to make sure there's no metals in it. If there is metal in your fill water, then you need a pre-filter so that it filters those metals out as it's going back into the pool so your pool does not have more issues, okay? Depending on what pre-filter you use, um, the, the links that are down below, please take time to read about them. They do remove different amounts uh, parts per million of metal depending on which one you choose and also depending on which one shoot you choose will also um, depict the rate at which it, it fills back up your pool because some of them have different flow rates uh, also the flow rates may change depending on the level con of uh, metal content in your pool water okay or your fill water so you can drain the pool refill it use a pre-filter the next step would be you could use a pre-filter on a portable pump, maybe have a service company come out and do this for you, where they'll bring out a pre-filter, they'll bring out a pump, and they will pump the pool water through the pre-filter and back into your pool. Now, depending on the size of your pool and the amount of metals in your pool, this could take you know 10 to 12 hours, it could take a couple days, just depends on, on how big your pool is and how much metal you have in there. The last step that I want to share with you is a product called See You Later. And I'm saying this product by name because I don't know of any other product currently on the market like this one. So I'm going to show you this pouch here. What this is, is this is a product that you can drop right into your hair and lint pot of your pump. You can also drop it into the skimmer of your pool. And what happens is, is this has a polymer inside the bag and the polymer is designed to attract any metals even if they're sequestered or chelated into this bag, okay? And the polymers stay in the bag. They will not dissolve and come out and go into your pool. They stay in the bag. So as the metal in the water passes over this bag, it attracts the metals and holds them in here attached to the polymers, okay? So we have a couple of different options with this, okay? See Later offers a bag that will remove up to one part per million of metals out of your water, and then they have another option that's larger that will do up to four parts per million of metal out of the water, okay? So the one that's one part per million typically comes just like this, just as a bag designed to go into your skimmer, okay? Now this particular bag is actually the one that does up to four parts per million, and it comes with this little pod, okay? I'll show you here. So this pod is designed so that you can put it, again, into the hair and lint pot of your pump basket or into your skimmer. I like that it has this little hook up here. The benefit of this is that you can put it in either one of those baskets and you can zip tie it to the basket. If you're not servicing the pool yourself, it's really nice because when your service company comes out and they see this zip tied to the basket, when they clean the basket out, this doesn't get thrown out. It stays in the basket, okay? And then it goes back in where it needs to be to continue removing metals from the pool water, all right? After you're done with this, you can literally, depending on which one you have, you can take the bag out of your skimmer or out of your hair and lint pot, or you can open this pod, pull the bag out, replace it with a new bag, okay? Now, one thing with this product that I will share with you is that if you are using, hang on here, if you are using a copper-based algicide, you'll either want to remove this product or you'll want to put it into the skimmer. And the reason I say put it into the skimmer is because if it is in the hair and lint pot of your pump, all the water from your pool passes through that 
basket once every single day. Whereas if it's in your skimmer, not all that water is going through your skimmer unless you have your main drain completely closed and all your water going through your skimmer, which would not be the best idea. So if you're using a copper-based algicide, either take this out or put it in the skimmer. If you have not used copper-based algicide or you've been using it a lot, I would suggest putting this in the water first prior to applying the algicide to remove any metals that may already be in the pool and then take it out and apply your copper-based algicide so that you don't add too many metals and have them played out on your pool finish, okay? So that's all for today. I hope this information was helpful for you. If you thought this video was beneficial, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll be posting more content in the near future and look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for your time.